Jetzt sind wir unterwegs nach Berlin. arrived in Berlin, obviously. I'm in my BNB right now. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting old. I'm tired. I don't want to go out. So I stay in and work a little bit, watch a little bit of parks and recreation. Sounds like a good plan. I bought me some fruits. So I'm gonna snack a few blueberries while I'm painting, drawing. Yeah. It sounds like a good evening. The train ride was about six hours. We had an hour delay because it's Deutsche Bahn and Deutsche Bahn always has delays, of course. <laughs> but I actually got a lot of work done. I made a few sketches for a few commissions. At this moment, I have four commissions. So every time someone orders uh, artwork from me, I actually make a few sketches, about two to three, and they can choose which one they like the most. For example, this was my first commission of the month and the person wanted an blue greenish eye with leaves and fish and glowing lights so i make a few different versions swatch some colors so they can kind of see what it will look like at the end and then they can choose and make if they want to a few corrections um, this sir actually wanted a few changes so i changed it up he wanted the eye color a little bit more green and bangs and now i got a thumbs up so i will paint this hopefully in this vlog my second commission is this one i love this commission it makes me so happy um, someone wanted a magical fairy tale vibey portrait of her cat and two chinchillas um i think i'm not sure anymore but i think she wanted this one no changes required so this one is also hopefully gonna happen in this vlog it's gonna be a packed vlog my friends and this i made today in the train i love this concept someone wanted a warrior woman with her dragon looking over the dragon kingdom i love it so i painted one from the back and one from the front i don't have an answer yet so we will see which one she will pick and as you can see i also make a few color sketches and this isn't set in stone if she's like i want a green dragon i can for sure make it green and these sketches are actually there for those kind of changes so i put in like a little bit of effort i want them to see their idea visualized but it's still very rough as you can see it's still very sketchy um so it wouldn't take too much time to change any but i think it actually really helps to see see what they envisioned. And the last commission I took for this year is another dragon, funnily enough. Um, I'm not done with uh, this sheet yet. That's what we're gonna do tonight before we go sleepy sleep. And the person wanted a white dragon flying around through a orange warm abstract sky and on top of the dragon is a little girl riding it with her cat. Um, yeah, I still have to finish this up.
gerade, also mir, die Primary Color zu werden. two fellow artists and content creators today and they were so nice and after that one of them just spontaneously invited me to a pinterest event and it was nice too but oh, as you can see i'm so dead i just want to sleep but i still have to pack everything for tomorrow because we will start pretty early i wanted to start filming at around nine o'clock because it's winter and it's dark at four and we need daylight to paint so yeah we went to bosna I have to get a little bit of art material. I can show you what we got. Just some canvases to paint on tomorrow. We are making two videos. One still life painting where we all just paint the same. Still life? <laughs> and one where we switch to paintings every 10 minutes. It's for my main channel, my German one. So you will not see the videos done on this channel, but I will give you some behind the scenes. Some brushes. And a lot of acrylic paints. When you follow my vlogs, you've seen that I basically bought the same colors two weeks ago. But I forgot them and honestly, they will be gone in a month. So it's great to have some extras. I also this time got a black because I didn't get one last time. A burnt sienna and a nice cadmium orange. Huh. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> just finished our first video. We made three still life paintings. Now we're gonna film the video from my German channel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is Geza, by the way. Hello, um, her Instagram is of course in the info box. Honestly, that took longer than expected. We've been painting for about mm. three, four hours. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Actually, what or, like, how late is it now? It's oh two o'clock. We for like four hours. I left my hotel at 8.20, 8.30. Mm. I'm a little bit tired. I'm, the idea of painting another two hours now is scary. Oh, look. Yette. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but um, as soon as we'll start, I will probably be back in the flow.
Aber zu Hause, ne? Ach, das neue Van Gogh? The next day actually was my last one, so I took the train back home. It was a six hour ride and we actually had an hour delay. So I spent eight hours just sitting around and I just decided to paint a few Patreon things. I sadly only made a short video, that's why the framing is a little bit weird. I wasn't sure if I would share the process in a vlog, but I actually managed to make a lot. So for all of you who don't know already, I have a Patreon. And in the highest level, I send out a post postcard, a sticker and a collectible card every month. And I do prefer to make really nice cute artworks every month, like specific ones for the patrons, not some that you can also purchase in my shop or something like that. And yeah, I um, decided to kind of sketch what I'm about to do. So basically I brainstormed a little bit, I thought about what would look nice and then I searched for some reference pictures and made a few sketches and at the end I managed to get three of them done. So yeah, three sketches and I even like colored them roughly so I would know where to put which color as soon as I would take my acrylics and start painting. And I even managed to make one of the stickers. It's a little fox, obviously, for the fox cart. And yeah, later at home in my cozy, cozy bed, I also created the stickers for the other two carts. So first we have this snake lady and I thought, yeah, let's just make a very simple snake. The design is, yeah, pretty simple, but I do really like the color palette. It's like a little cow snake. And after that, I also made the sticker for the girl with the goldfishes. I think it's a really nice one. I didn't film it, but of course, <laughs> later that day I arrived at home and I just spent the next couple of days, yeah, painting the ideas I made in the train with acrylics. I started with my personal favorite, the girl with the fishies. And yeah, let's just let me explain what I'm um, doing. So first of all, I taped down the edges just so we have like nice smooth lines with the Patreon prints I scan them myself so I prefer to paint them on paper. Honestly if their paper is thick enough it can handle acrylic easily so um, don't worry especially if you put tape on it. Although I really do prefer the look of like a panel or a canvas but it's just really hard to scan it and the structure of the cloth just doesn't look really nice in the prints because I'm just making the prints on postcards. Yeah you can really just see that it's printed on I don't like that. Something I really like to do is is just put on one base layer of color. First of all, just for the head, for the mind, for the brain, because I just don't like to paint on white. But second of all, I do paint pretty rough. I do sometimes skip over some places. I just forget them. I'm a little bit um, lazy. <laughs> so if I just forget some parts, it's the green bluish color coming through and not the white of the paper, which would yeah, not look that nice in contrast to what I'm painting. And then, honestly, I just start painting. It's kind of a thing by now that I start with the skin. I don't know why. It always looks really creepy because it takes me a really long time to put in the eyes. But I also kind of really like it that it's in a kind of ugly state and I'm on the rim of giving up and then I'm like, okay, you know what, Shania, just put in the eyes and just see how it looks. And then I put in the eyes and it looks good. It's a little motivational boost. And I do think the skin too is pretty hard. It is the least patchy. It has to be kind of smooth to look good and it's always a little bit harder to smooth out acrylics. So yeah, when I'm motivated at the beginning, I do prefer to start with the harder, less interesting parts. And then when I'm less motivated, I guess, or I'm already painting for a long while, I can do the interesting parts. And for me, that keeps me just going.
I went on with the little fox. I made this painting a little bit smaller so you can see. I really like this one. The background is really rough and has a lot of style. Um, I'm really working on my style at the moment and even though I think I kind of found it, I'm always trying to evolve it. But yeah, this, this, this whole painting segment what you're gonna see what you're seeing right here it took me about four days so it's the woman with the fish the fox and now the snake lady i had a lot of troubles with the snake lady i don't know what i thought when i came up with the concept of hands in a painting this small because hands by itself are really hard but then with acrylics in this size i i'm pretty i'm pretty proud i have to say with the end result thinking of the circumstances especially because <laughs> um, of course um, i ruined all of my small brushes so i used only pretty big brushes I have been spending the last couple of days painting the Patreon stuff and now I'm gonna take a little, little, little break of painting to open the package. And when I say a little break, I mean a little one. I'm just gonna open this. And after that, I have to continue with a uh, commission. I have been painting in the kitchen um, of my parents. That's the footage you've seen. Uh, but it's really nice. And my parents are really the biggest sweethearts. They let me paint there, but it's very obvious that I'm blocking the way. <laughs> That's the light in the winter is so bad. So I need my big lamps and they just take over the whole kitchen. I don't like the basement. I try to avoid to be here as much as I can. But for the next painting, we'll be here. <laughs> but well, Look what arrived! Oh my god! It is my first ever MacBook. Oh, I'm so excited! I will mostly use it for editing these YouTube videos because um, I actually always use my big computer. But now that I want to travel more, I just thought, hey, this is a great opportunity to spend a lot of money on something I kind of already have. Ooh, it's heavier than I thought. Feels so fancy right now. Oops. Oh, this is Oh my gosh. Hello. Let's set up this baby. What else is in here? The charger. Language. I'm gonna go for English. Drücke die Eingabetaste, um Deutsch als Standardsprache zu verwenden. What the commission at the moment looks like. I'm pretty happy but um, of course the customer has to be happy. I don't have any reactions by the time of recording but if he um, wants any changes I will make sure to film it so you guys can stay up to date and just see how these kind of commissions work. We should stop Cause I was there by your side with my eyes open wide And I know that will always be true There were no reasons why And some beauty must die Which I harbor I post a creative, artsy, travel -y vlog every two weeks. And next week we will have a very interesting video. A fan favorite of my German channel. I shifted it over to this channel. I am going to show you every painting I made in the year of 2023. I think it's always very interesting to recap. So yeah, like I said, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much. Stay creative, stay healthy, and we see each other in two weeks. Bye-bye.